our brothers from continuation, can you please come forward for us, please? You guys are too far. And our mothers, please come forward. We want the video to be nice, please. You guys are sitting too far. Mumbra mweni maya ye pamocho. Muti e chedudu. Okay, we have two hosts today. My name is Auntie Mercy, as everybody knows me. And this is my co-host, AC. AC will be speaking English, and I'll be speaking our language. Who knows our language? Which one? Yes. AC, take over. Okay. The first um, program outline is the opening prayer, which will be given by Ikia Kunidu. Can we have Ikia Kunidu here? Thank the Lord for today and for this week. Let's all pray. Can we kindly be on our feet? Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I thank you for today and this week. I thank you for everything that you taught us this week. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth they adore him. What a Pray to God for the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for my forgiveness of all my sins. I pray that you will forgive me of all my sins. I pray that you will not take this all and not take it away. Yes, Lord, you will forgive me. Lord, I will pray every single day. I pray to you. Let us pray for our program and the contestants. Let us pray.
Let us pray in prayer. Lord, I bless you, and I pray that while our contestants compete, you will make them walk out the door as a winner. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ikea. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's the power. Yeah, back candy in Tia. Yes, she more has it. Um, we will talk about the purpose of our gathering. Let us invite Michi and Mary Jabo to come and tell us the reason why we are gathered today. Hi, hi, children. I oh, I'm too loud, loud, right? Lord. Forgive me, I can't control my voice. My voice is always loud. Hi, hi, children. Okay, Apostle Continuation, what's your greeting? Do you have a greeting for Sunday school? Okay, they still right. So, hi, hi, children. Hi, hi, children of the Lord. 2022. 2022. That's more like it. We are soldiers of Christ. Hallelujah. So, you know, it's not for any mere reason that we went through all the stress, you know, to organize this program. Uh, by God's grace, you know, we have a vision that we want to foster unity among the churches. Hallelujah. And we have the vision also for all children to be revived, whether in Pentecost, whether in other churches. So the major purpose for this program is not for us to organize competition to see who is good or who is bad or whatever. The main reason is that you, the child watching this one, will be revived. Your Bible reading life. Because without the word of God, especially in Canada here, your life is nothing. Hallelujah. Because there's a lot of deception going on there. So we want you to have that passion, that desire to know more about Jesus Christ. That passion, that desire. You know, as you come here, you draw your sword and you open the Bible. It will not just be that you are standing here to open to the competition, but it will be part of your life. You know, read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. So we want you guys to revive, we want you guys to grow. That is why. Initially, we invited about four churches, but two of them just, you know, laid back at the last point. Yeah, that's why. So, you know, no matter how it goes, we are going to have fun in the Lord and still learn. Hallelujah. We are going to have fun in the Lord. And as a result... This competition, we intentionally told each church to bring two teams. So even though we are two churches, we are going to have four teams today. Hallelujah. And we are going to enjoy. So enjoy yourself and learn from the word of God too. Amen. Over to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Uncle Nichi Kaya Ninjanani said, Yes, I be Jinaha Sabai Bwak and Kane Tin Ye Babi Jinaha. Ye per se. Sunday school, Korean, you know, Mudrosuko, our mobile reading. Yes, eh, yeah, Percy, who's a winner, you win it, and I win a winning yen tina, yeah, yeah, Bible, I can cano. But I say year two thousand and two, uh, Sunday school, Korea, a bed meaning what does to call war, the Bible, I can camel. Now, what to me, Eddie. There's a lot. And you might be break or school more, be do baby cran the beca say, Yamia some crano me and can one some more school more. But a crano and ya at the swing be was Sunday school now or one ra or bet me the a bonne brow uh can I the crumb why a crono mon panes are mammy. Thank you. <laughs> We are going to uh yeah, yeah, worship. Na yen sister obedi ye ni ama ya sorry era de no e ye yen sister era abna ene bedi ye ni ama ya sorry era de. Hallelujah, amen. amen. 
It is good and great to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Shall we please rise up? We're just going to go into a period of worship, about five, ten minutes. Just come out of yourself. In everything that we do, we have to make sure we worship God in the beauty of his holiness. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Sing with me, amen, 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 amen. Oh.
So, Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration, O oh Lord. Nothing can be compared unto you. Tonight, your children have come before you. And before we continue with any event, we just want to say we worship you. We say thank you, Lord, for you are good and your mercies endure us forever. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue be our feet. We look to door. So we're going to uh, sing one action song to wake us up. To go to the competition, you know. We need to wake up. So everybody be on your feet, please. I am a soldier. I'm in of the Lord. I am a soldier. I am a soldier. See soldiers. I am a soldier. I am a soldier in the arm. If a soldier fall down. In the army of the Lord, you rise again in the army. I am a soldier. I am a soldier. I am a soldier. I am a soldier. If a soldier fall down, in the battle of the Lord, he will rise again in the army. I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. I am a soldier in the army. In the army of the Lord, he will rise again in the army. God bless you. Have a seat. Um, can we have any teacher from PIWC um, introduce to us their contestants? And then um, same goes to Apostles Continuation. Kindly introduce to us your contestants. Yeah, Bema teachers Nabaku from PIWC. Eddie or Momano, Ebe Dow or Monquara and Eddie. Nettie Chenny by a consul from Apostle Continuation, or no so so Ebe Dye or Momo Fran or Mode, Ebe Sia Cano Eddie. Thank you. Um, can our con contestants please stand up? Yeah, 
Yes. So we have. Um, so what I mentioned is we have. We have Sechua, we have Christine, we have Samuela, and we have Margaret. So these are okay. our contestants. The contestant can come into the front row for us, please. Thank you. Praise God. Uh, will the contestants from ACC please rise up? All right. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. Um, so I'd like to introduce to you on the on my immediate left is Jessica uh, White, and then there is Josephine Boating, Galicia Noche, and um, Gabrielle. Ibukwe Kindly Kante. give them a round of applause. Thank you. Wow! 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 Ladies, come to the front row for us. Thank you, thank you. For the first round of this competition, we have Elder Frankie Adam as the judge, and he is going to be focusing on the Old Testament. Can we give a round of applause to Elder Frankie Adam? Elder Frank. As he takes his seat. Edda Frank is on the seat, so Edda Frank will take over. Praise the Lord. Hi, hi, children. Are you all excited to be here this evening? I'm also excited to be here. Yes. yes. I like the yes. Yeah, so this uh, contest is in phases or rounds. And this is uh, the first round or the first phase, if you would like. And it's going to be based on the Old Testament. We're going to have 10 questions. And each question will be awarded five marks. Uh, this is um, draw your sword. So just a few reminders. And I was kind of surprised um, to see just girls and I don't see any boys. So teachers, uh, we want to do well to also encourage and motivate our boys to be part. Right, so that um, they also know where to find the scriptures. So it has been said already that um, this is not to find whoever is the best, but we want to encourage our children. We want to uh, familiarize ourselves with the Bible, the Bible, the word of God, and it's called the sword of the spirit or the sword for short. So that when we ask you to open to Romans, you are not going to find yourself looking somewhere in the Old Testament. We want you to know your Bible. So this draw your sword competition. We want to remind ourselves that when we say carry your sword, we mean you put your Bible on top of your head. And the book, the chapter, and the verse will be announced. Then we will ask you to draw your sword. So first of all, carry your sword. Draw your sword, you hold it. Then you say charge. That's when you open to the right scripture. And once you are able to open to the right scripture, you will start to read. And if you read the right scripture, you'll be awarded five points. 
Are we all in the same page? All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, shall we give a round of applause to all our contestants? And are you ready for the first round? Um, before, before that, um, can we kindly ask the AV team? So I understand that uh, we have two main churches here. Apostles Continuation is on my right hand side and the Church of Pentecost is also on my left hand side. And each of the church also has another team. Okay, all right. So yes, uh, we decided to put, yeah, to, so we're not going to have independent teams and yeah. So we have just two teams. So uh, Apostle Continuation and also uh, Church of Pentecost. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, no. Um, it doesn't look like we are ready. Are we ready? Yes. Woo! Woo! Yeah, so what we're going to do is um, all the contestants will so just be on your feet and you're going to just stand on this right hand side. Yeah, you are all soldiers. So yeah, yeah. So the so soldiers, you are not going to sit. Yeah, that shows your readiness. You are facing each other. Are you ready? Church of Pentecost, are you ready? Yes. Apostle Continuation, are you ready? Shall we go? Carry your sword. Psalms 127, 3 to 5. Draw your sword. Charge. are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of the mighty man are so children of the youth. Amen. Amen. Very good. So that's correct for five points for continuation. Correct for five good points for continuation. Carry your sword. Genesis 33, verse number five. Genesis 33, verse number five. Draw your sword. Charge. As he did so, Isaac saw the woman and children and said, who are these with you? So he said, the children whom God has graciously given your servant. Correct. Great job. Apostle continuation. Carry your sword. Genesis Chapter 48, verse number 15. Genesis 48, verse 15. Draw your sword. Charge. And he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has fed me all my life long to this day. 
correct for five points. Apostle continuation. Carry your sword. Proverbs 3.12. Proverbs 3.12. Draw your sword. Charge. Just as the Father, the Son, in whom he delights. Proverbs 3.12. Correct. For five points, Church of Pentecost. Carry your sword. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7. Draw your sword. Charge. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them day, diligently to your children, and you shall talk to of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Deuteronomy 6, verse 6, 6 and 7. Correct for five points, Church of Pentecost. Draw your sword. Sorry, carry your sword. Proverbs 22, verse number 6. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Draw your sword. Charge. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Correct for five points. Apostle continuation. Carry your sword. Isaiah 38, verse number 19. Isaiah 38, 19. Draw your sword. Charge. The Father shall make known your truth to the children. Isaiah 38:19. Correct for five points, Church of Pentecost. Carry your sword. Joel 1, verse 3. Joel 1, verse 3. Draw your sword. Charge. Correct for five points, Church of Pentecost. Carry your sword. Psalms 78 and 4. Psalm 78 verse 4. Draw your sword. Charge. From their children, we will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power, and the wonders he has done. So, Psalm 78, verse 4. Amen. Amen. That's cool. Correct for five points, Church of Pentecost. And this will be the last on this session. Carry your sword. And this time I'm watching closely when I say uh, draw your sword and you will start to open it, you will be disqualified. First Chronicles 28 9. First Chronicles 28 9. Draw your sword. Charge. Son, know thou the, that the God of thy father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind, for the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. 
But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Amen. Amen. Correct for five points. And here comes the end of the first round. Give a round of applause for both teams. Great job, great job. You great all job, done well. guys. So you can take your seat for a moment. So, as our judges are um, adding the max up, can we have the AV team show us the excerpts of last time's competition? Okay, do you understand key? Let me explain it to you. You can say, so we both pass the now, eh? Missing question with session with your question mark come up with five. Question one, two, three, four, five. If you pick us all, we pick question one, we pick question two, we pick question three. Now make sure you are waiting as a team. Oh, wow. Don't look at my face. Look at your partner's face. Okay? All right. So once again, this is a start, so don't worry. So continuation from question number one up to five. Choose your question, please. Uh, question number one. Question number one, okay. Question number one. How many verses are there in chapter one? Start the clock. How many verses are there in chapter one? You have 30 seconds. Okay. The king's image he saw in a dream were made up of several objects in different parts of the body. Mention three of these objects and which part of the body was made up of these objects. Let me repeat it because it's quite difficult. Okay. The king's image he saw in a dream were made up of several objects in different parts of the body. Mention three of these objects and which part of the body was made up of these objects. 30 seconds start now. No, take your time. Okay? Take your time. Restart. Take your time. Okay. So restart. Take your time. Wait. So what I expect from you, you will tell me nose is made up of a car. Okay? Do you understand? So when you mention the body, you mention the object. So the body is the nose. What was the object? The object is car. Does it make sense? Okay? You mentioned the eye. Okay, the eye was made up of a Bible. That is what I want. Okay? Am I making sense? Okay, so don't say eye, nose, and the hair, and then you turn it around. No, I want specific answers. So the eye, the eye was made up of a Bible. Okay, and that one will fetch you one answer. So let me repeat the question again. Okay, it's, it's going to be the same thing for you guys. That's why I'm taking time to explain. Okay, so let's go back. The king's image he saw in a dream were made up of several objects in different parts of the body. Mention three of these objects and which part of the body was made up of these objects. Okay? Start. Okay. Question number five. What was the king's Belshazzar reward to anyone who will be able to read and interpret the writings on the wall. What was the king's reward to anyone who will be able to read and interpret 
the writings on the wall. You must have the three answers. That was our last year Children's Week program. And I know it was very nice. If you continue doing this, I hope next year or July we have four different churches that we can compete against them uh, next year. Uh, yeah, we are first runner. And see, your judges know, ever can say their first round, no call you. And Sunday, I call. Yes, yeah, second round, no so. Praise the Lord. And welcome back to 2022 Draw Your Sword competition between the Apostle Continuation Church and the Church of Pentecost. Give a round of applause for all our contestants and also for you being part of it to cheer your people up. So at the end of the first round, the co-judges put everything together and for apostle continuation they had 25. Give a round of applause. Ooh. 25 points. And for Church of Pentecost they also had 25 points, meaning that five correct ooh, answers ooh, each. Ooh, ooh. So they've come to tie. Come to tie. So we are about to move to the second round. Second round of the competition. And we know that uh, we're going to see who is who. Mm -hmm. The second round, we have a judge. I will free Apostle Continuation. Yepachose, young brother, Eric Hodma, obey. Take his seat, Amaye. That's our brother from Continuation. And Clary, give a hand. Give him a hand of applause. Okay. Over to you, Uncle. Okay, praise the Lord. Um, it's an honor to be here. God bless you all for also uh, coming. Okay, uh, contestants, please rise and come to the front. We are in phase two, the New Testament. And uh, invigilators, please go to the opposing sides and inspect them. Please uh, separate a little bit further back. Oh, oh move closer. Uh, ECCI, move in more into the image. There we go. Okay, a little bit, just a little bit back. A little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you guys are doing great. All right. So we are going to the New Testament, so set your mind on the New Testament, okay? All right. So we're going to the first one, the first question, I mean the first uh, verse. 
Uh, carry your sword. Okay. Matthew chapter 18, verse 10. Matthew chapter 18, verse 10. Draw your sword. Charge. Heed that ye despise not of these little ones, for I say to you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Correct for five points. All right. Take a deep breath and carry your sword. Verse number two. Matthew 18, verse 6. Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. Draw your sword. Charge. Mm. This is hot. Judges, what did you see? Because um, Okay. We'll leave that one up in the air for now, okay? Yes, we'll strike that one for now. Okay, we're going on to the third verse. Matthew chapter, sorry, my apologies. Carry your sword. Everybody is already, everybody knows the protocol, so that's good. Okay. The verse is Matthew chapter 18, verse 14. Matthew chapter 18, verse 14. Draw your sword. Charge. Is not in the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Amen. All right. ECCI. Correct for five points. Okay. Carry your sword. The next verse is Luke chapter 18, verse 16. Luke chapter 18, verse 16. Draw your sword. Charge. But Jesus called them to him and said, Let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for such a kingdom of, for such is the kingdom of God. Luke 18, 16, sorry. Correct to Church of Pentecost for five points. Okay. Carry your sword. Take a deep breath. Okay, the next verse is the book of Mark. Chapter 9, verse 37. Mark, chapter 9, verse 37. Draw your sword. Charge. Whoever receives one of these little children as my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. Mark 9, 37. Correct to Church of Pentecost for five points. Okay, carry your sword. The verse is Luke chapter 18, verse 17. Luke chapter 18, verse 17. Draw your sword. Charge. I'm sure I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God the kingdom of God as a little child will be no means and enter it. Amen. Amen. All right. Correct to ACCI for five points. Carry your sword. Take a deep breath. We're going back to the book of Luke. Okay. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. That's Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Draw your sword. Charge. Saturn in favor with God and men. Luke 2.52. <laughs> this one, I, it was simultaneous. Hmm. 
Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with the judges. But that means we have to go back and review the other one. Yes, we will go back and review the other one. Okay. If, We'll give a different verse for the for the next for the other one we missed. The second one. Okay, so correct to Church of Pentecost for five points. Okay, carry your swords, take a deep breath. Luke chapter two, verse forty-nine. Luke chapter two, verse forty-nine. Draw your sword. Charge. Amen. All right. Correct for five points to the Church of Pentecost. All right. Carry your sword. Okay. Luke chapter 1, verse 41. Luke chapter 1, verse 41. Draw your sword. Charge. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Correct to Church of Pentecost for five points. Okay. Verse number 10. Carry your sword. Okay. John chapter 11 verse 35. The book of John chapter 11 verse 35. Draw your sword. Charge. Correct. It's a very short verse. Uh, yes, but we have to go back and do one more. Do you have an extra? Pick one. Okay. Still in the Old Testament. Okay, carry your sword. This one will, um, will replace the one that was voided. Okay, so it is Philippians, the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 10. Philippians 4, verse 10. Draw your sword. Charge. But as you know, he who was mighty, that now at last you care for me, has flourished again. Though you surely did not care, but you lacked opportunity. Correct to ACCI for five points. All right, um, my work here is done. God bless you all for coming, and it's been a pleasure. Okay, hey. contestants, take your seat. So we will announce the results shortly after tabulation. We're going to hear sorrow from Prince Lade.
mother care her emotions. Because she, she, she care? Yeah, she needs to learn, right? So she's the love of God and she gets nervous. Right? I, was, I was gonna go stand up for Sarah, but I don't know. Yeah, no, it's okay. She needs to grow up and yeah. have confidence in her. But it will come by, it will come by. It will come by. Oh, she's good, right? I think our judges are done. Yep. Break time is over. Over to you, judges. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello? Okay. Thank you. Um, so, uh, according to my fellow judges, um, on, the, on the score sheet for the Church of Pentecost is 25 points. Yes, you can clap. We don't, we don't charge for clapping. And then on the score sheet for Apostles Continuation Church International is 25 points. So we have a tie. This is serious. So round three is about to come. Please bring your A game or your triple A game. God bless you. Thank you, Ankralik. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Clap for our contestants. They are doing amazing. God bless you. Oh, you are cute. So, for the third round, can we have Auntie Deborah in T from Pentecost to be the judge for this round? Kindly give her a round of applause. Thank you. And this round is going to be focusing on children-related verses in the Bible. Children-related verses in the Bible. Hello, everyone. Can contestants please come forward? You're all doing great. Yeah, like, amazing. Girl power. So, um... We are going into the third phase of the competition, and this phase is focused on children-related verses in the Bible. Children-related verses in the Bible. 
Okay, so take a deep breath. Draw your sword. Carry your sword. Yeah, carry your sword. Okay, so let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 127, verse 3. Psalm 127, verse 3. Draw your sword. Charged. from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Psalm 127 verse 3. Good. So that's um, five points to Church of Pentecost. Carry your sword. Let's turn our Bibles to Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Draw your sword. Charge. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land and the Lord your God is giving you. Exodus 20, 12. Okay, yeah, that's correct. And five points to Church of Pentacles. So carry your sword, everyone. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Ephesians 6, verse 1. Draw your sword. Charge. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Good, good, correct. So that is five points to continuation, church. Okay, so draw your, carry your sword, everyone. Carry your sword, everyone. Um, let's turn our Bibles to Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Draw your sword. Charge. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Amen. Amen. Good. Um, five points for Church of Pentacles. Five points for Church of Pentacles. Okay. Is everything okay? Okay. So carry your sword. Carry your sword. Yeah. Keep calm, keep calm. You are all doing great. Keep calm, okay? Keep calm. So let's turn our Bibles to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Mark 16, verse 15. Draw your sword. Charge. Amen. Good, good. So that's five points for continuation. Good. Carry your sword, everyone. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7. Deuteronomy 6, verse 7. Draw your sword. Charge. Amen. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, five points to continuation, church. Okay, so carry your sword. Let's turn our Bibles to Second Timothy chapter three, verses fourteen to fifteen. 
Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 to 15. Draw your sword, charge. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from the childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to, to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Jesus Christ, 2 Timothy three fourteen to 15. Amen, amen. So that's five points to the Church of Pentecost. Okay, so carry your sword. Let's turn our Bible. So when you carry your sword, when your, your Bibles are on top of your head, please do not put your fingers into the pages. Let it just rest on top of your head. You can put your two hands. So this is an example, Christine. Yeah, so put your two hands over the, the sword on your head. And then when I say draw your sword, that's when you please sit down. Okay, so please. Do not put your fingers into the pages. Do not put your fingers into the pages. Okay. Carry your sword. Let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 78, verse 4. Psalm 78, verse 4. Draw your sword. Charge. children telling to the to the generation to come the to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done Psalm 78 4 good yeah so that's five point to the church of Pentecost carry your sword okay so let's turn our Bibles to second John chapter 1 verse 4 2 John chapter 1, verse 4. Draw your sword. Charge. And these things we, and these things we write to you that... Sorry, that was a little weird. Continuation, yeah. Yeah, it's continuation. So now we are going to the final, the last memory verse. So there's going to be like girl power, double, double. So put in all your energy, okay? Yeah. So carry your sword. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. Draw your sword. Charge. continuation church yeah okay so this brings us to the end of the final phase of the competition you've all done amazing and i'm i'm proud of you wow, church of Pentecost. Wow, i'm proud of wow, you wow wow you are the best yeah so 
Um, so you can go to your seat and then we'll leave it to the judges to um, calculate the final marks. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wow, wow, you ladies are amazing, 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 amazing. So at the end of this phase, we have a tie again. Yeah, so at the end of the third phase, the Church of Pentecost had 25 points. 
Woo! 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 Clap for yourself, and guys. Continuation Church good. also had 25 points. So at the end of the whole competition, Church of Pentecost has a total of 75 points. And Continuation has 75 points. So we have a tie. So what we are going to do is, today is a tie, but then there's going to be a rematch. So we'll be meeting you in July. God we want willing. a rematch. Yeah, we want a rematch. We want a rematch. 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 We have to settle this. We want a rematch. rematch. Everyone is so a July, winner, okay? God willing. Yeah, can't it today. <laughs> July, God willing, we are going to have a rematch. July, God willing, we'll have a rematch. And uh, it's very great to have you here and to compete with you. You have been an amazing contestant. And thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And uh, that's the end of the competition. Hi, hi, children. Hi, hi, children. Okay, how many of you think today's competition was so exciting? So do we want to do this again in July? Are we ready for July? Come on, why are you guys sad? children okay so um, we want to thank each and every one of you um, who came here to support all of us and we want to thank Apostles uh, Continuation for coming to compete because a lot of people were not able to make it and if you weren't here this won't be possible so as a token of our appreciation we want to give you something small to say a big thank you. This one is not for the winners. The winner's prize will come in July. So you have to prepare because I'm going to prepare my kids very, very well to come. <laughs> We're going to be ready for you guys July. We have come to the end of today's program, and we will call upon Elder Francis to give us the vote of thanks. Elder Francis. Can we give him a round of applause? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hi, hi, children. Hi, hi, children of the Lord. 
You guys have done amazing, amazing well. You guys have done really, 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 really well. We want to thank, first of all, thank God for such a great opportunity for giving this time to the kids because the Bible says that this is, um, you guys, that everything belongs to you guys. So we thank God for giving you guys this opportunity to, to, to be here. We want to thank the uh, administrator of the, the church for even giving us this opportunity, also um, the church, for us to be able to host this um, important meeting for the children. We want to thank the, um, the Sunday school from P Pentecost. Wrong um, agenda. So, all right. I want to say thank you to the um, you guys, the children, for participating in this event. Um, you guys, like I said, you guys have done well. And God is looking for kids like you guys to be able to impart his life, his spirit upon you guys. Right now, you guys have shown a great deal. Coming here, standing here in front of even it's being streamed on YouTube and come here to do what you have done. Not a lot of people will be able to do that. So I want to thank you so much. I want to thank all the children. Clap for yourself. You guys have done really, really, really well. You guys have done really, really, really well. And I want to also continue to encourage you. Continue to study your word. Because some of you guys, the things that you were doing, some of the adults were behind you, and you guys were even opening more than they were. Right? So by the time you guys got there, they were not even there. So that means that you guys are doing really, really well. You guys know your Bible. You know your Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. You know all of, all of it. So you guys are really, have done really, really, really well. And I just want to encourage you guys, continue to um, be in the foot of the Lord. Stay in the shadow of Almighty God because that's where his blessing is going to be upon your life. The Bible says that it's better to be in the house of the Lord. It says one day that you spend in the house of the Lord is better than the thousand days that you spend outside the world, right? So if you guys come here and your friends and your other people, you think they're having fun, no. You guys are gaining more. The blessing of God is going to be upon your life. You guys might not see it now, but later on comes, you guys will understand that, yes, it was important for me to be in the house of the Lord. And the reward of God's blessing is, you can't imagine it. Right? You can't imagine. It brings discipline. Right? It brings this when you read problems. It talks about hard work. Right? You have to work hard. Right? Oh, so coming to the house of God, listening to the word of God, you're able to position yourself. Right? To receive from God. When God blesses you, nobody can curse you. Right? So when you receive the blessing from the Lord, nobody can take it away from you. And everybody who stay in the house of the Lord, if you look at your life, at the end, they gain more. They re the reward to their life is even more than anything. So I will encourage you guys to continue to be in the faith of the Lord. Continue to listen to, the, to your Sunday school teachers. There's wisdom in, in, in them. They have gone through the process. So when they're teaching you guys something, listen to them and pay attention. And I just want to say thank you to the parents for also for bringing, continue to bring the kids to the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 We're going to call Sister Grades for vote of thanks. Hi, hi, children. Sure. So we thank God for another wonderful day for all of you. It's good to see our sister in churches here joining us for this I mean, competition. We're so grateful. But I just want you to thank God. Just open, uh, um, say, I didn't call it. Just clap your hands for God. Yes, for this wonderful day. God, we thank you. We give you praise and adoration. Yes, so we thank the Church of Pentecost, the host, you know, for putting up this uh, a program. It wasn't easy for all the teachers and and, and, and all the leadership that also help us to do this uh, program. So we thank them, we thank our pastor, Phil, for also putting in his best to help this competition. And also our elder, Fosu, yes, he did a great job. He was the one that set up all the questions. So we also say thank you to our elder and God bless. 
him, and also all of you, your church, you know, we thank your ministers also for, for, for bringing you guys here, and all the Sunday school teachers who are, uh, help train you guys to be in the presence of God. We are so grateful to have you, and all the contestants, we just say thank you. Just clap your hands for all of you for what you've done. It was a wonderful job seeing all of you, you know, holding your Bibles and just opening them. It was so wonderful. So I'm so privileged to watch you, and I know that you guys are learning something. And all the teachers here and all the, uh, um, the church people, all the mothers, uh, the parents were able to come here, and those who are even viewing, yeah, we just want to say thank you all for being part of this program. May God bless you all. And all the leadership for Sunday School Teachers, you guys have done a great job. So thank you all. So we thank God for this wonderful time. Amen. Thank you. So Danichi will give us announcement. Hi, hi, children. Oh, just say with that. Hi, hi, children. God bless you all. I'm so happy. Tonight has been one of my best. God bless you all, Uncle Eric. And this man, it's like you came back home. God bless you too. Welcome back home to us. Hallelujah. Okay, so we know that in July, we are going to do the, 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 uh, what? The breaker. Hallelujah. We are going to break the draw. So are you prepared for July? Are you prepared for July? Oh, my friend, why are you doing this? I'm so shy. Are you prepared for July? What's your name? Josephine, are you prepared for July? Yes, you, you, you came last time, I remember. Are you prepared for July? Are you prepared for July? I want you to get prepared because we are going to break the draw, right? My team, are you prepared for July? I can see, I can see the strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so this is the announcement that we have. Possibly on the 20th to the 25th July, that will be our children's week. And that's when we are going to break the draw. So please, I want you to just keep the date in mind. Possibly. Yeah, we are waiting for date from national, but I know it will definitely be around that time. 28th to the 27th of July, around that time. So the other announcement goes to my people in Church of Pentecost. Tomorrow, Sunday school begins at 10 o'clock a.m. It begins when? Please, the parents watching online, we don't begin Sunday school at 11 a.m. again. Tomorrow is starting at 10 a.m. And we are all going to meet at the general room before we break into classes. All those in children's choir, if you know you are in children's choir, just raise up your hand. Yeah, we are going to have a ministration for Easter. So tomorrow you guys will start your rehearsal. If you know you are in children's choir.